is actually no-kill regeneration, no-kill rehabilitation of a site that's been disturbed. This is a dam bank that's been dug out. Earth has been brought out of the, out of the, the ground, deposited here. So these are some deep clays been buried, never before seen the, uh, the light of day. And so you can see here that the, the runs are quite significantly coming up. And if we hadn't done this, there are still things germinating if we look closely, but not very much of it. So no-kill is being used as an accelerant here on a spot that may or may not regenerate of its own accord over time given good grazing. But this really brings the process and starts the process. We'll be coming back to this site and looking and seeing how it progresses through, through the year and how it actually provides ground coverage. The main thing you want on any areas that have been disturbed is we want to get vegetation on top of this soil, get things growing and get natural processes started. This is what no-kill regeneration can do. Examining another no-kill regeneration site, rehabilitating some dam banks and areas where ground has been uh, been taken out to make a uh, an earthen tank for stock water. And you can see here all of these plants coming up after a rain and they're starting a process on this degraded site. So for mine sites, degraded lands, that sort of thing. No-kill regeneration is a real tool for getting things started where you can't re-disturb uh, the site. So this site has already been uh, greatly disturbed, that's why we're doing it, but we're hastening the, the process. No-kill starts getting organic matter and vegetation very, very quickly on a site, and then it can start the process from there. No-kill regeneration, it's a way of improving badly scalded sites. This is an ultra close look at natural processes beginning due to the uh, application of no-kill cropping. So we've got some oats here that we've sown on this degraded site and then now we've got some kangaroos have visited the site here and there's their kangaroo poo but also then the dung beetles have got started because the kangaroos have visited here. So a whole series of processes has started with the application of no-kill in a site. 